if a girl says she wants to take a break and then immediately tells me to stay the night and things happened, following day calls me to see how I'm doing, is that a real break? And for context, I'm referring to my Brazilian girlfriend. All right, so this is a little bit of advanced game, and I'll give it to you, right? So notice, you're, you're experiencing two things here. You're experiencing a woman saying she wants to take a break, but then she's hooking up with you. So here's just what I found in my dating journey, right? Anytime a woman says that she wants to take a break, that is actually code for, guy, you're doing a lot, and right now, I'm not feeling as though it is my choice to choose you. I'm feeling like you're forcing your, you're forcing me to have to choose you versus me wanting to choose you. And because of that, I'm feeling a lot of pressure and I need you to back off. And that's what that means. Now, you're confused because she said that and then asked you to stay the night. So this is where I talk about guys that when women are telling you things, they authentically mean the thing that they're talking about in the moment that they said it. At the point that that moment passes, she could very well not mean that thing. It's kind of like, and guys have a thing where it's like, guys, yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard of the whole object permanence thing, right? Like for example, right? Here's my, here's my cup. Now, if I take my cup out of the shot, you guys know that that cup is still there. That is called object permanence. You can see the things here, and then when it's not there, you still know it's somewhere there. Babies do not have object permanence. So that's why they like peekaboo, because when you close their eyes, they legitimately think, where the heck did you go? Because they're not, they're not understanding that that um, at the point that you cover their eyes, you're actually still there, right? And so for women, you have to do the opposite. Guys are very good at object permanence, meaning that if we're feeling a thing or we say a thing, we mean that thing. If I'm mad at you now, I'm probably gonna be mad at you five hours from now until we talk about it, right? Women, and that, that's why I call that uh, emotional object permanence, right? Women do not have emotional object permanence. Sometimes they'll, they'll hold on to grudges for a long, long time. But in terms of like the things they're feeling in a moment, how they're feeling about a thing right now is not how they're going to feel about it necessarily five minutes from now, depending on if situations change. So for example, in that conversation, if she was like, I want to take a break. And you were like, okay, cool. Now she has a switch go off. Oh, he was cool with the break. I guess he's not as, as uh, needy for me as I thought. Okay, I don't need a break anymore. Do, 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 do. And that can happen in the span of like 10 seconds. And you're not going to be aware of it because you're thinking, but she said the thing. So if she said she needs a break, she's going to also need a break for me five hours from now. That is not how women work. But the problem is, as men, we get frustrated by that because I've, I've literally had before, I remember there, there were times in the past where like a woman would tell me something like, oh, you know, I think we're just good as friends. And then she'd be flirting with me and I'd be sitting there like mad at her. Like she just said, we're just friends. Why is she flirting with me? And I wasn't aware that at the point that she's flirting with me now, she's actually recognizing that because I was so cool about this not being a thing, that she's completely changed her mind. And now she wants to flirt with me and possibly do some stuff, you know? And that is a frustrating thing as a guy that you have to get used to. Because here's the thing, it's not the worst thing in the world that women flip flop like that with their emotions. Because you gotta think about the lifespan of women and what's coming into their life. There's gonna be a point, they have, they have periods all the time or, or every 20 days or so where their emotions are constantly fluctuating. Their life circumstances are constantly changing. They're going from like being little girls to growing boobs and having periods. And then when the kids come along, they have to learn how to deal with like four or five different emotional beings on top of your emotions, you know? And so women have to, women have on reserve that they got to be ready at any moment's notice to change up how they feel about things, depending on what circumstances are brought forth. So that's just kind of like guys are always on reserve to be like analytical. But then our problem is we move too fast in relationships because we're analyzing stuff about this woman so fast. Like we both have things that to the other person, it's going to be annoying until it's actually needed. So that's one of those things where until it's needed, a woman being able to change her mind like that is completely annoying. But for the betterment of having a family, that is a needed skill. So in terms of this situation, she said she wants a break. Ideally, you didn't act butt hurt by it, which made her feel as though, okay, there's now less pressure here. Now it's my decision to ask him to stay the night versus him trying to force himself to stay the night. It's now my decision to call him and text him versus feeling obligated to have to respond to his text and calls because he does it all the time. So you're in a great position right now. So she said the whole break thing, one, you have to ignore that. But don't, but don't, but don't be like, we're not really on a break with her. What I mean is, is this, right? She said the thing of you're on a break. That's how she felt in the moment. It is what it is. So at this point, now you just be patient. You wait for her to do the calls. You wait for her to reach out to you. And in the meantime, because she said you're on a break, also, also have times where 
you're maybe not as readily available. And then when she says, hey, I was trying to reach out to you, blah, 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 just be like, it'll take one time or two times to be like, oh, well, when you called me, I had other plans or I was with somebody else, but like, I got back to you. Just saying that without giving any specific detail will really make her think about, do I actually want this break to happen? Because I said I want a break, but now he's seemingly be able to do things without me and he's hanging out with other people but won't tell me who they are. I feel angry about that. Why do I feel angry? It's because I probably still want him. And for some, for most women, until they're able to feel a thing, they're not going to make the decision you want them to make. Like she needs to feel as if she misses you. She needs to feel as if she's making the decision to see you because she misses you and she can feel that anger. She needs to feel the anger that she has when you're potentially seeing other people to, for her to recognize, I feel angry because I actually care about him, you know? And that goes to, again, the more patient you are, the better chance you have of being able to keep the women that you want. And then at the point that she get, that she takes you back, stay in that mode. Like, don't go back to, I'm now doing all the things. I'm now trying to see her all the time. Stay in the mode of, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to ask her out once or twice a week. If she asked me out more, then that's a different conversation, but I'm going to stick to the schedule. And I'll tell you guys right now, in my dating life, whether I'm dating a woman or in a relationship, my schedule for women continues to be, I'm asking them out one time a week. If we go out any other time after that, it's got to be her fault, but I'm asking one time. I'm not trying to set up four or five dates because I'm not trying to be there so much for her that she starts thinking that I'm forcing her to spend time with me. And I find doing that keeps a really good balance. So hopefully that answers that question. Use a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are go. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.